Students, families, advisors, thank you so much for joining us for Teen Life's live virtual information sessions. A few housekeeping items before we begin with today's session. First and foremost, you are encouraged to ask questions throughout the duration of today's session. You can use the Q&A button that you see on your screen to submit a question to all of our panelists, and they'll work to answer the question during their portion and during the entire portion of today's session. You do not need to wait for a specific organization to ask your questions. So if you have a question for Language Bird, you can ask it at any point. You do not need to be waiting for Language Bird to be presenting for your question. As a reminder, your camera and your microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. So if you do have any questions, make sure to just type them in through the Q&A button. We are recording this session and all of the sessions, and they will be emailed to you in a few days. So thanks for your patience with that. This is today's order. We will be going in this order of Stanford Pre-College, followed by Loyola Marymount Pre-College, Watson Institute, Language Bird, Boston Leadership Institute, and UC San Diego. Each, each organization will be presenting for six minutes. And again, you can ask your questions throughout the entire time. At this time, I'm gonna encourage my colleague from Stanford Pre-College, go ahead and grab screen share and feel free to begin. Hello, hello, good afternoon, everybody. I'm, I'm Olivia Shorter Donnell. I'm the Director of Diversity Out reach programs for Stanford Pre-Collegiate Studies, and we're incredibly happy to be here today to present to you. In my time, I'm going to be talking about four programs that you can um, participate in this summer if you're interested. Um, our mission statement and our mission at Pre-College Studies is to support students who are going to be our next generation of scholars and leaders to explore advanced subjects and engage with other peers from around the world. We are looking to foster intellectual curiosity so that our next generation of, of scholars and leaders can start building, building their network now and engaging with faculty and practitioners in the field. We have four programs this summer that I'd like to share with you. The first two are the Stanford Pre-Collegiate Summer Institutes and the Summer Humanities Institute. Our pre-collegiate summer institute takes place every summer. And this year we are offering the program virtually so you can join from around the world. These are two week programs where every single day synchronously or live, you get to learn in a small group setting from a um, professor or a leading practitioner in the field um, on various topics. We welcome applications for students currently at this moment in time right now in grades eight through, uh, eight through 11. And we offer 30 different courses in various subjects that I'll show you in just a moment. The Stanford Summer Humanity Institutes is a partnership with the Humanity Center at Stanford. And it is also a two week program for students currently in grades 10 and 11 at the time that they apply. And we offer eight courses in humanities and in philosophy. And I'll also show you some of those courses in just a little bit. Our last two programs are those that focus on um, specific subjects and offer fewer courses, but are still really fantastic. The Stanford Mathematics Camp or SUMAC is a three week program for students in grades 10 and 11 right now to explore very advanced mathematics uh, topics and engage with other students who love that subject. And the Stanford Medical Youth Science Program, which is our longest program lasting five weeks designed for students um, who come from low income and underrepresented backgrounds to pursue careers in health science and medicine. So I will focus most of my time on the first two programs, which have our most courses that you might find yourself excited about. We have a two week program where every day for two hours you get to interact live with incredible instructors who come from many different backgrounds um, and areas of expertise. Our office hours are offered throughout the week during the program so that you can also engage individually one-on-one -on -one with our faculty and instructors. And we also create small group projects and activities so that you can work with other students during the program and ultimately have a final project at the, at the end of your two weeks. We very much wanna supplement and, and, and support your learning outside of the classroom. So we have a lot of exciting events that are planned throughout the program, regardless of the class you're in. We have a robust student life workshop series on things like leadership, multicultural communication, health and wellness, um, design thinking and problem solving, where you can connect with other students outside of your class um, in your leadership development. And then we have a lot of fun, exciting all camp events. 
um, including uh, various um, centers on campus, such as undergraduate admissions that will come and give a talk to our students, um, and a lot of fun things too. Social time is, is important. So if you're interested in pre-collegiate summer institutes, um, we have 30 courses in a broad range of, of, of subject areas from science and bioscience, computer science, engineering, robotics, writing. And um, in January, when our application opens, you can see all of the courses that we're, that we're providing. Our two-week program lasts um, over three different sessions. So if um, the first session doesn't work for you, June 21st through July 2nd, we have two others that run through August 6th. And I also have the application details and tuition here as well, all of which is on our website. The Humanities Institutes, as I shared, is also for rising juniors. And in addition to what I just shared with you, um, you get to engage with humanities faculty from Stanford on a weekly basis, which is really exciting. And we have pioneers in the field. Some of the subjects we teach are related to our past and our future and how we can learn from those things, including revolutions, ancient Rome, racial identity in America, um, and you're interacting daily with Stanford professors and graduate student teaching assistants. Um, likewise, we have three sessions. So if June doesn't work, we also have programs running in July and August. Um, last, last, I'll finish with the last two programs, which are focused on mathematics and medicine. We're looking to foster in curious thinking of our next generation of mathematicians. So we offer two courses, one in al abstract algebra and number theory, the other in algebraic topology. This program is a little bit longer. We need three weeks to teach those subjects. So we only offer two sessions, which you see one starting in June and one starting in July. You also get to attend workshops and network with faculty in mathematics from Stanford. I will end now with Stanford Medical Youth Science Program. I said it's our longest program in that it lasts five weeks. And this, student, this program is for low-income students and is restricted to 20 counties in Northern California and Central uh, Valley of California. So if you're not in Northern California or Central Valley, I'm sorry. But if you are um, and you come from a low income or underrepresented background, I recommend you visiting our website to learn more where you can learn uh, various coursework as well as professional development and college admission support. And if you have any questions at all, please do come up to our website spcs.stanford.edu backslash programs. You can also email us at precollegiate at stanford.edu. Thank you so, so much. I'm happy to be here and I'll um, make sure to look at our questions now. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much, Stanford Pre-Collegiate Programs, for sharing that information. As a reminder, this is the schedule. Next up is Loyola Marymount Pre-College. And as they grab screen share from me, I will remind you that you are encouraged to ask questions throughout the entire session. You do not need to wait for a specific institution to ask your questions of that institution. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to my colleagues from Loyola Marymount University. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Ashley Okimoto from LMU. Uh, I do want to start quickly by saying the majority of my presentation today focuses on our on-campus residential programming. LMU is working extremely hard to be able to bring programming back to campus in 2021. Uh, that being said, if uh, Los Angeles County Health determines we are unable to safely resume uh, residential programming in the summer, we will return to the online format uh, that we had this past summer as well. So uh, pre-college programs at LMU are structured to provide motivated high school students with a sneak peek at college life through unique experiences designed to challenge uh, critical and creative ways of thinking. We really aim to showcase the best of LMU during the summer uh, from our world-class academic programs to our experiential teaching philosophy. Every one of our pre-college programs are influenced by LMU's mission. So to start, I wanna give you a brief introduction to LMU if you don't already know us. Um, Loyola Marymount uh, is a top-ranked national research institution that applauds big ideas, encourages imagination, and seeks to educate the whole person. We're a diverse community that supports each other and is committed to each student's success. We maintain small class sizes, uh, and most of that is to make sure that every student has a hands-on experience, uh, and our undergraduate programs translate to real-world success, which is reflected in the outcomes of, our, of each year's graduating class. Our goal in pre-college is really to put every ounce of that collective LMU energy into creating a similar experience for our summer program students. 
We're located on a beautiful bluff in Los Angeles overlooking the Pacific Ocean. This is a quick map to give you some reference as to where we are. Um, it's really not a bad way to spend the summer in our opinion. Uh, my background is sort of the, blue, the view off of our bluff. Um, we are close to major industry hubs that includes the entertainment industry in Hollywood, the business and tech industry in Silicon Beach, and the engineering uh, industry just south of us. Uh, and we take advantage of that proximity with course related field trips uh, with each of our programs. Our programming uh, is primarily made up of, oh, excuse me, uh, two week non credit sessions with a few small exceptions that I'll go over at the end. Uh, we run two different sections um, of sessions. So this is our first, the information on the screen now, uh, mostly comprised of our uh, arts programming and our liberal arts programming. Um, which includes our most competitive program, the beginning screenwriting class taught by faculty in our highly ranked school of film and television. Um, one thing to note, regardless of whether or not we're able to return to campus this summer, we will be hosting an online version uh, of the screenwriting class. So if you're unable to come to campus or you're just not ready to uh, do a residential program, but you're interested in that class, we will have an online version to apply to. Um, at the bottom, you'll see the course uh, cost information. Those costs, the on-campus version is all inclusive. So uh, just note that that rate includes room and board for the full, full two weeks, tuition for the class, and all extracurricular activities, including our weekend trips off campus. Um, the online price listed here is for the online screenwriting class. But again, to note, if we do have to go to the online version of the program, uh, that price will be uh, the, all of our programs will be essentially reduced to that price. Similarly, we will be offering an additional two week program in uh, two weeks, a week later, uh, that will include most of our uh, business and sciences programming, as well as a return of our acting and screen, screenwriting courses, because those are our most popular. So we try to offer as many uh, seats in those as we can. Um, you can see again the, the, the same cost at the bottom of that slide. And then finally, we also offer uh, a four week film production program. Um, so this is credit bearing film production. Uh, so you would, uh, students who take this will receive three units of college credit at the end of the class. Um, again, program cost at the bottom includes that tuition for the three units of credit four weeks of room and board and all extracurricular activities. If this program moves online, um, the cost will be reduced to 4863, which is the cost of a summer course uh, at LMU this summer. So now I know I don't have much time, but I do wanna quickly go over the pre-college experience at LMU. So outside of class, students can anticipate help in college preparedness, including sessions with our undergraduate admission team to answer college application questions, as well as with our Office of Career and Professional Development. Uh, as I mentioned before, each program takes students off campus. We like to call, uh, call it turning Los Angeles into our classroom. We really try to make use of the um, great uh, industries that are around us. Um, some of the pictures featured here are all of uh, field trips we've taken uh, with the pre-college program. Um, and then don't worry, it's not all about academics. We do have fun too. Uh, past weekend trips have included beach days, Disneyland, and Universal Studios. While the majority of our programs are for uh, are intended for rising sophomores through rising seniors in high school, I do want to make everybody aware uh, to check each program page on our website for specifics. For example, beginning screenwriting is limited to rising juniors and seniors and film production is limited to those who have completed junior year by the start of summer. So just make sure you check each each page uh, closely for eligibility requirements. Um, additionally, you'll see application requirements here on the screen. Uh, most of the classes have these same requirements, but a few do have additional uh, creative essays or letters of rec that we request. So again, I just recommend checking each individual page. Everything is listed out on the course uh, page so that you have more information at your fingertips. Um, if you do uh, note, we do ask for a transcript, but uh, please note that if you're unable to get an official transcript this year, uh, you can certainly send us an unofficial one as well. Uh, our applications are already open. The deadline to apply is March 15th, and you can uh, find all of the application information that I just shared with you at summer.lmu.edu apply. 
And finally, if you have any questions after today's presentation, we welcome them. Please feel free to reach out to us by email, which is summer at lmu.edu. Check out our website, which is summer.lmu.edu, uh, or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and we are at the handle LMU Summer Lions. So thank you so much. I appreciate meeting all of you today. Excellent. Thank you so much, Ashley, for sharing that information. Uh, next up, we have Watson Institute. And as the Watson Institute grabs screen share for me, a reminder to you students, counselors, families, that you are welcome to ask your questions throughout the session. You do not need to wait for your specific organization to be presenting to ask questions of that specific organization. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Watson Institute. Hello, everyone. My name is Miranda Williamson. I'm the director of search here at Watson Institute. And I'm gonna tell you about what, what Watson Institute is. So I'm gonna give you an overview. I'm going to talk a bit about our impactful alumni and I'm going to talk about financial aid and scholarships. It's always very important to know what you're getting yourself into. So overview, what is Watson Institute? We are a career and accelerator for individuals who want to learn how to increase their impact and lead a career of meaning. So we help individuals who either have a venture idea launch that social venture, or maybe you have an idea of an area you want to create change within. Or also perhaps you want to be an entrepreneur. So you want to work within an organization that's creating social change and you want this particular skill set. We are different from traditional models of higher education. We teach concrete skills. So we teach things like how to finance, do finance and accounting for your social venture. How do you hire a team and manage a team? How do you lead a meeting? So these concrete skills are taught within our semester accelerator and summer accelerator. So our summer accelerator is a five week summer accelerator. We do intend to be in person at this time. We are located in Boulder, Colorado, and we're working out the logistics of what that will look like. Uh, rec also recognizing that we are in a rapidly changing environment and may need to shift. We also have a four month fall excel semester accelerator. So we have those two options. Both applications are open right now and both applications are due by April 15th for both that summer and that fall semester accelerator. I have the dates on my slide. So what is it? What do you get when you come to Watson, when you join us in beautiful Boulder, Colorado? Um, you get first and foremost, a community. Being an entrepreneur and being a social entrepreneur can often be a lonely journey. We work really hard and intentional to build a community, a cohesive community of individuals from all over the world. Our scholars come from all over the world. So it's a, a really great community feeling. We also have high level master courses. So each week you will receive master courses by high level leaders and entrepreneurs. Um, for example, we have Nobel Peace Laureates, we have the founder of Priceline.com, very high level courses and our scholars get individual time with those um, teachers as well. We also have tailored mentorship. Each scholar gets two mentors and those are leaders in a field that's similar to the field that our scholars hope to go into to help mentor them and guide them on their path for success. So a little bit about our alumni and what they do. So we have over 239 alumni coming from 60 different countries. Collectively, they've raised over 100 million for initiatives they've led. We teach our scholars how to raise money. So whether that's writing grants or um, pitching to funders, we teach our scholars how to do that. We also give them access to um, funders as well. They've created over 800 paid jobs. Like I said, we also teach them how to manage those teams. When they create those jobs, how do they manage them? They've impacted over 150,000 people around the world through their work. We also teach our scholars how to do meaningful and impactful work and do it 
um, in a way that's ethical and really serves the communities they hope to serve. So we're, we're really working with that social entrepreneur, that entrepreneurial minded individual who wants to create and lead meaningful change in the world. Our alumni also go on to do other things. Not all of our alumni end up launching a venture and stay, sticking with it. They've gone on to go to universities such as Harvard um, in New York and others. So this is also a great launching pad to continue your um, journey of higher education for impact. I know I used to work for a university in impact oriented uh, master's programs and an experience like this is highly valuable going in. So scholarships, I know I'm running low on time, so let me get down to the important part. Scholarships, we have fellowships, which are full tuition fellowships. We give nine out per um, semester. So we have quite a few of those available. We also give out merit and need-based financial assistance. About 90% of our incoming students receive some level of scholarship funding from us. We also secure housing. Um, I am in one of the housing housing units we secure at the base of the, the um, flat irons. So they're be it's beautiful housing that we secure for our students as well. So please chat in questions for me and I look forward to hearing from you all. Thank you so much. Excellent, thank you so much for sharing that information. And uh, next up, we do have Language Bird. And as Language Bird goes ahead and grabs screen share from me, a reminder to all of you that are joining us today that you are welcome to send in your questions. We will have some time at the end for some round robin as well to answer any general questions, but uh, feel free to type them in as you're ready. Uh, and Language Bird is getting all ready to go. And I'm gonna <laughs> hand it over to them once they're ready. I can still see your notes. We're almost there. We're here. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. All right. Take Very it away. Good. Can you hear me too? Yep. Sounds good. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Karen Coven. I'm the founder of Language Bird. Language Bird is online world language courses, 14 different languages. We teach language and culture. That's the important part. Um, our website is languagebird.com. You have my email here. And also at the end, um, I'm going to give you another email and a phone number that you can call with any questions that you may have. So our mission at LanguageBird, and, and actually I think it's important to mention that we have never changed anything about our program. Our program actually um, has always been online. There has been no changes here. We believe that the best way that you can learn a language is from native speakers who are explaining to you not only their language, how it's spoken, but also about their culture. And so we allow you to embark on a journey from home. Um, you actually can commit even right now. We know exactly where we're gonna be. Um, we'll always be here online for you and we bring the teachers to you. So our teachers are all over the world and they get you to be a confident speaker. You connect one-to-one -one with them just like this over video chat, we use Microsoft Teams for education, but they engage you in project-based learning at your own pace, on your own time, your own schedule, and share with you their language and their beautiful culture. So one of the reasons why you should choose Language Bird this summer is because it's efficient and it's custom just to you. It's personalized and it's live. And you have a choice of a variety of languages that you potentially, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't have all these choices at your own school, which I'll get to in just a minute. Um, you're always learning with a trained teacher who is a bilingual instructor. You get to connect globally with that teacher, and if you'd like, also with other language learners. Um, and it's really like going abroad from home. Um, so you can earn high school credit if you like, or just take some of our courses or culture camp for fun. 
One of the important things about LanguageBird is that we're fully accredited. So we're accredited by WASC, the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, as well as Cognia, and we're UC approved, as well as NCAA approved for any athletes who wanna take a course for credit this summer. These are the languages that we offer. The numbers next to each of these languages represent each a year of study. So for instance, in Arabic, we offer levels one through five or years one through five. So basically you can come in as a very, very beginner level one and take Arabic one A, B, or um, come in with some experience and start at a level four or five. I would say level five is more like a college level, but we can also customize courses beyond these levels just for you. Some of the standout languages that a lot of students come to us for, besides the typical sort of uh, Spanish and French, um, are American Sign Language, Hebrew, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, um, Russian, of course, Mandarin as well. Um, and so that's sort of a, a, a list of those things uh, that we currently offer. We're consistently adding more languages too. So check back with us uh, early in 2021 for new announcements. Um, and so you might be wondering, how exactly does this work? Um, all of our lessons are private. They're one-to-one. -one. It's just you and the instructor. So the best part about it is there's no peer pressure. You can really practice speaking without worrying about, you know, how you sound or sounding silly. It's a really fun way. And it's really the only way to learn to speak a language is by practicing speaking. We use project-based learning, so it's not boring at all. Everything is based on the kinds of stuff that you want to learn, um, and teachers really cater and tailor the lessons to you. A typical pace of our course is about two to three lessons a week. Each lesson is one hour long, and most students over the summer, for example, will take three lessons a week, and with that, they'll finish a full year of high school credit in about eight weeks, which is typically typically the length of a summer, which is great. Taking language is a fantastic way to stand out on your college applications, but even more so make you more um, of a able uh, employee in the future, make you uh, be able to study abroad when you go off to college, and a lot of other things that it opens your eyes to in the future. As I mentioned, you're paired with a native speaking instructor. You connect via Microsoft Teams. There's a curriculum as well as a syllabus that you follow, even though it's self-paced and, and directed by you. And you can enroll and start any time. So for example, we have students that are starting right now, and they're even taking a course over the December break. So it's open rolling enrollment for you. So with that being said, um, you get instant feedback. Our tuition varies based on the program that you'd like to enroll in. And there are a variety of programs that are listed on our website. Our courses for credit, we also have tutoring or test prep, as well as conversational lessons. So these are all options for you. Um, and the most uh, that you can sort of commit yourself to is the 24 lessons at a time. But we do have smaller packages of conversational lessons um, that are up to about six, uh, six lessons. So, um, with that, I know that uh, my time is up, so I just want to invite you to go to our website to check out our culture camp. We have one in the winter and one in the summer. And if you have questions, please put them in the chat, um, or you can email Kay Webster or give us a call. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much for sharing that information for LanguageBird. Next up, we have Boston Leadership Institute. Uh, so Boston Leadership Institute, feel free to grab screen share from me. As they do, a friendly reminder from me, if you have any questions, you do not need to wait for that specific organization to be presenting. You can ask your questions at any point. You can have general questions and that will go to all six of our panelists, or you can have specific questions about a specific uh, program. Uh, so with that, I'm gonna hand it over to my colleague from Boston Leadership Institute. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, my name is Allison. I am a program director and the head of marketing at the Boston Leadership Institute. We are STEM all day, every day. And those are in four major categories, engineering, medicine, business, and science. Because we are in Boston, it makes us ideal for these areas 
especially because we are the hub of biotech. You guys are probably hearing a lot about PCR and about CRISPR nowadays. We have been doing that for years and finally it's our time to shine. I will tell you about that and more coming up. We have three main types of programs and now because of COVID, of course, we do have remote programs and we are intending to hold remote and live programs this summer. Last summer, we completely upended our plans and we went from doing all live programs to all remote and we did so very well. So we know that we are capable of doing everything. If we have to run remotely this summer, we will. If we have to run live, we would love to. And we have, we have to do both, we will do both. So these are the three types of programs that we offer that are up here on the screen, not including the remote. We have one week, we have three week, which are competitive admissions, and we have edge programs. The one week programs are introductory. If you think that you might be interested in engineering or in medicine, or maybe in finance, we have programs in all of those areas. So we have introduction to surgery, which is our notoriously most popular program. And that means that you get to come into class and you get to do dissections, they're hands-on with a medical student, or sometimes even with a guest MD, because we have many of those wandering around campus at any point. Our three-week programs, are competitive admissions. And this is what you want if you need something to enhance your resume for college. We have engineering in several different categories, including robotics, which is taught with a PhD from one of the top private schools in the Boston area. And he has four degrees from MIT. That's what we get here in Boston. We have everybody we could ever need to teach these programs and to teach them to the highest potential. We have medicine. So again, we have surgical programs. We also have veterinary medicine and we also have oncology. We have everything in biotech this year. So again, like I said, very relevant area. This is something that you want to really be highly considering. It's going to look amazing on your college applications and it's an area that's booming. For example, one of our instructors had a career in biotech. She moved on to become a teacher and she was drawn back into it this year. Another one of our instructors is now working at the Mayo Clinic on the vaccines for COVID. This area is only getting hotter and our biotech program is multiple award winning. It's called Biological Research and I highly recommend that you take a look at it. Our edge programs are to help you get an edge on your hardest classes that are coming up in the fall or in the spring semester. So let's say that you're nervous about taking calculus or you're nervous about taking physics. This gives you a heads up on the material. So all the toughest phys physics material, all the toughest calculus material, you'll see it first. And we actually have that in bio, AP bio, chem, physics, geometry, and I think algebra too, but we're working on that. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna take you down here so you can get a look at all the different classes that we offer. Take a picture of it. We're probably going to offer more. Psychology also, one of our most popular. Here are the engineering programs that we have and the medicine. The medicine is what is the most popular and something I would recommend applying for early if you're interested. Our biomedical and surgical program, for example, will sell out early in February or March. There is no fee to apply to our programs and almost every program that we offer in person will be offered in some way remotely this summer. That schedule is not up, but I highly recommend thinking about it strongly. We will be sending materials right to your home. So if you're interested in doing the surgical class, but you don't feel comfortable coming this summer for whatever reason, we will send you dissection materials to your house. You'll then log in, you'll do multiple hour long sessions with our MD instructor, and you can learn exactly like you would learn on campus. I will say if you do come to Boston, you will get a great experience living the college life. We have class from 9 to 3.30. You will then take field trips into the city to see the sites. So for example, I'm the director of our Boston campus and our students will go into Cambridge on the weekends to see Harvard and MIT for themselves. They get to roam around, they get to browse, they get to see Cambridge and they get to see Boston and all of the colleges here. So on top of having a college experience with us, you will also get to see the area. If you haven't heard, there are a few colleges here that you might wanna look at. So that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. Please send me any questions and I am so happy to have been here with you. Thank you so much. Great, thank you so much, Allison, for sharing thank that information. You.
And uh, we are now going from the East Coast all the way back to the West Coast for our final summer opportunity at UC San Diego. As UC San Diego gets ready to go, a reminder, send in all those questions via the Q&A, and we'll have some time at the end for some general questions as well. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to my colleague from UC San Diego. Thank you very much, Zach. It is a pleasure to be here, and we look forward to seeing at least some of you this summer in San Diego. My name is Morgan Appel. I am the Assistant Dean for Education and Community Outreach at uh, UC San Diego Extension. UC San Diego was founded in 1960. We are an internationally ranked public research university, a public Ivy. We are part of the 10 campus University of California system and innovation is in our DNA. Uh, you can see one of our alumni here, Jessica Meir, who uh, was recently on a mission to the International Space Station and will be on her way to the moon shortly, we do hope. Uh, we are a number one uh, ranked public university and we are steps away from the Pacific Ocean. What you see in the middle there is the library and just over the ridge is the uh, Great Blue Pacific where our Scripps uh, Institute of Oceanography lies. Uh, we have academically focused pre-college programming for over 900 elementary, middle, and high school students from around the world, not only during the summer, but throughout the year. These comprise academic connections, futures, global environmental leadership and sustainability, or GELS, research scholars, and our Sally Ride Science Academy, Sally Ride, uh, one of the uh, first women in space, was also an eminent professor of physics at UC San Diego. Now, uh, our summer programs vary in duration, they vary in cost, but we are committed to enable all students access to our program offerings. We have several full and partial scholarships and fellowships that are available. Most of our programs are under $1,000 and many are under $500. It just really depends uh, where your interests lie. Uh, in terms of um, academic connections, this is a program that is focused on life sciences. Uh, so if you are interested in working on cancer cures with our faculty, uh, engaging in oncofertility research, uh, academic connections can help you do that. We have high school scholars from across the globe not only uh, participate in life sciences lab-based research, but co-authoring journal articles and presenting findings to faculty and industry professionals. So there's nothing like a college application that shows you've already published, which is something uh, most uh, likely the exclusive purview of uh, doctoral students and uh, professors. These are offered online and in person, both commuter and residential public health conditions Permitting. And there you see a picture of our Boz Institute, which is an institute that uh, we uh, administer. This is a life sciences institute, and those two are working on experiments that they will publish. We also have an initiative called Futures, which gives our scholars a leg up in post-secondary education in the new color economy. It includes advanced technologies, broadcast, uh, multimedia broadcasting, engineering, business, design, sports medicine sciences and other fields uh, for participation in futures you will receive academic credit as well as a certificate from the university and uh, these are offered online and in-person public health conditions permitting if you are interested in environmental leadership and sustainability, we have um, the gels program for you these actually are um, headquartered at UC San Diego, but we do have locations in Arizona, Biosphere 2, the Big Island of Hawaii, and Washington, DC. These are programs that are taught by renowned researchers and scientists and um, are part of our global uh, environmental leadership initiative. If you are interested in STEAM or STEM, uh, we have a Sally Ride Science Academy that offers programming in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. We have workshops for elementary students, middle school students, high school students, as well as 
parents. Um, these workshops are focused on things like space science, marine biology, computer programming, and screenwriting, among many others. We even have a program in which our young scholars work with the International Space Station and do experiments on, uh, on Earth and send them up to the space station for further review. So we are very much uh, connected. Uh, we are a universal institution. So all that really is missing is you. And you can see uh, some uh, a testament to our work uh, from an academic connections scholar about our, our instructors uh, uh, that are passionate and um, influential. So we hope that you will come uh, check us out you can find out more about our pre-college courses and programs at extension.ucsd.edu backslash courses and programs backslash pre-college. You can email me and I will respond within the day. And I thank you all for your kind attention and hope to see you in San Diego this summer. Thank you so much, Morgan, for sharing that information as well. I'm going to invite all of my colleagues that just presented from the six programs to turn their cameras and microphones on. We're going to do a very brief round robin. There are still questions that are coming in through the chat. So students, counselors, families, feel free to still submit those questions. Uh, but for those of us that uh, are here today, uh, I'm going to ask a question. We'll go in the same order that you answered in. Uh, and uh, just feel free to keep typing responses as we're answering as well. Uh, but we'll start with a general question. What type of student excels in your program. So uh, if you think about the students that really do well, what type of student would they be? So let's start with Stanford pre-collegiate. Sure, that is a great question. For us, um, our ideal student is someone who meets really two categories and it's being intellectually curious and okay with learning in a new innovative and sometimes challenging and tough way. So the courses that we offer, even if it's a familiar subject area like bioscience, um, we are really using uh, projects and real world examples for how you can approach those subjects um, here in the industry now. So it might be a little bit uncomfortable. It could be a little bit challenging, um, but if that excites you, those that that is an ideal student. Um, aside from that, um, we look at applications holistically. So we're not necessarily um, necessarily looking at things like test scores or all of your grades, but really um, the the essays and the ways that you uh, you could present yourself to show that you want to contribute to a learning environment with like-minded peers. Um, so if you like learning and you like being challenged, uh, those are those those are the best, uh, those are the students we're looking for. Great, thanks. Ashley, I'm gonna to turn to you. I would say very similar for LMU, uh, students who do well in our program are students who are really curious about the subject matter that they're taking, are passionate about potentially majoring in that down the road, whether that be at LMU or at a different school. Um, we really try to create programs that are uh, what we call test driving, those types of majors or potential future careers. So students who are really uh, engaged and interested in learning more about the, uh, the major path and eventually the career path that, that might lead to. Excellent, thanks. Miranda, how about you? What type of students do really well at the Watson Institute? So we, we generally look for entrepreneurial minded students. So those students who are scrappy, who are change makers, who want to create a positive impact in the world. So that tends to be the finding force with all of our students. Our students do tend to be a bit on the younger side. Our average age range is 18 to 25. We do admit students who go beyond that, but that tends to be our niche because we are for early stage social ventures or early stage ideas that haven't yet um, become a venture yet. Great. How about Karen and Language Bird? What type of student excels with Lang Language Bird? Yeah, thanks, Zach. Um, really, anyone can excel with Language Bird. If you just have an interest in learning about language, learning about culture, about connecting with others, other students, people around the world, um, getting ready for college or having us assist you with um, your studies currently. Um, we work with all types of students at their level and with the language that they'd like to pursue. Excellent, thanks. Allison, how about for Boston Leadership Institute? Yeah, so the defining feature of our students is typically their boredom with the conventional educational process. So our classes are more creative for topics that they don't see in high school and they're a little bit tougher and the teachers treat them a little bit more like they're adults. So this is much more like college than they're used to seeing. 
in their classes that they would never see in high school. So our students are the ones who are looking for something outside the norm for the summer. Great. Morgan, how about you? Um, I, I would say that we are looking for fearless innovators. We're looking for bold resource uh, and risk takers. Um, if you have an urge to take things apart and discover what makes them tick, people who want to swap ideas, share experiences, and explore the world with a fresh perspective. I think that's where we're going. Sounds good. There are many questions that are still in the chat. So panelists, please uh, feel free to, to uh, bring your attention there. I'm going to ask one more round robin question as well uh, as we kind of wrap things up today. The final question is, what's your favorite thing about your specific summer programs? What do you think makes it shine above everything else and you just hold near and dear to your heart? We're going to go in the exact same order. So uh, we're going to start again with Stanford Pre-College. All right, so many things. And you probably saw me smile as I said that. I would say uh, the thing that I love, love, love most um, about our programs is that uh, we don't have any grading. We don't have these competitions. We are not having quite assignments in the way. So we get to allow students to explore and learn without the fear of, of getting a bad grade. Um, and I know that that's something that is very challenging. And I would also say that in even a short period of time, we see so much leadership development of our students. Um, they are seeing how they can apply what they've learned in their humanities courses to the world around them. And um, it makes me very, very excited for our future. Great, we'll go to Ashley next. I would say that I love watching the community that gets built uh, with our program uh, between the students themselves with each other, uh, between the students and our uh, residential staff and the students and the faculty. We really create quite a, a community of pre-scholars, uh, pre-college scholars, and um, it's really fun to watch them grow and see where they end up uh, going to college and, and they remain connected um, much longer than their time on the bluff. So it's exciting to see that community. Excellent. Miranda, what do you love the most about Watson Institute? So we have such a diverse student body. We have students from all over the world and we have students with uh, diverse ideas as well. They're tackling issues like climate change, social justice issues, um, poverty. And what I love about Watson is that it's tailored to each student's individual unique needs. It's very individualized. The mentor program is individualized. The support the staff gives each student is unique to that student in their particular needs. Great. Thank you. Karen, what do you love the most about Language Bird? I have to say our project-based learning. I just love seeing what kids do with their teachers at the end of their course or at the end of their culture camp, the projects they come up with, recipes, poetry, songs that they've written. Um, it really shows um, the diversity of our students, of their interests, of their skills. And I think they're really able to shine because it's one-to-one -one and very customized for them. Excellent, thank you. Allison. What do you love the most about Boston Leadership Institute? So many things, but I love that we don't grade our students. So there's no homework and there are no grades. So they're in class from nine to 3.30. It's usually a lecture style in the morning and a three or four hour lab in the afternoon and it's challenging. And there might be a little bit of a struggle with new material, but no one's judging them, no one's grading them and no one's giving them homework at night. So it's really challenging and educational during the day and then they get to be kids at night. Awesome, thank you. And Morgan, how about UC San Diego? What do you love the most? Um, I, I, I love our global community. It makes the world that much smaller. I love that these uh, young scholars get the opportunity to uh, express creativity. I love the synergies that are built. Some of the things they do, they, it always astounds me. And certainly as a, a practicing academic, it tells me I got to step up my game and that the future is in very, very good hands. Great, excellent. Well, thank you students and counselors and families for joining us for this program on summer opportunities. Um, we are gonna stay here and allow my panelists to answer the last few questions that have come in through the chat. The panelists will also receive a copy of all of the questions. So if you happen to get something in a little too late, they're still gonna get a copy of that question and they'll be able to follow up with you. Uh, they've also provided all of their contact information and this recording will be circulated to everyone that signed up for this session. So you can go back to the recording and find all their contact information. So panelists, take about uh, the next few minutes and answer any more questions in the chat that you can get to. Um, and uh, thank you all so much for joining us. There are GAP programs that are happening in 11 more minutes. Uh, 
uh, and an, again, an hour and 11 minutes from now. So if you're interested in learning more about GAP programs in addition to these summer opportunities, we encourage you to check those out uh, for this Teen Life virtual information sessions. And with that, I'm gonna thank you all so much for joining us. Again, we're gonna wait just a few minutes as panelists answer the final Q and A's, and then we'll uh, end this webinar in about five minutes. Thanks so much, everyone.
All right, looks like mess, many, many of the questions have gotten answered. Uh, students, if you are still waiting for your response, as I mentioned, we will be providing all of the questions to all of the panelists and they will try to follow up with you as well afterwards. Thank you so much for joining the Teen Life Live virtual information sessions and have a great day, everyone.